Dan, tell me a little bit how you got involved in uh, NASCAR racing. I started out just when I was in high school, just kind of started out with some friends working in a local garage there. We raced at Motor Mile Speedway and in Kingsport, Tennessee. Uh, just uh, hanging out with friends, basically waxing cars and cleaning them up after the races on the weekends. And then uh, got more and more involved in it and got all the way up and uh, now we're going to crew chief. Tell me what it's like working for uh, being Tony Stewart's crew chief. It's pretty cool. He, he's one of those guys, he's from the grassroots of racing, just like I was, to where uh, it's, it's the weekend racers, weekend warriors that go out there and do this for the fun. And also, we're lucky enough to be able to make a living doing it, too. It's pretty cool. He, he's definitely a diehard. Tell him a typical uh, work week for you. Normally on uh, Mondays we go in, we have our debrief, we get to take a couple hours off in the morning and spend a little time with family, but then uh, Monday afternoon we go in the shop, go through the debrief from the previous week's race and they go to review pit stops and everything else, set up, uh, go through and make plans for the next race there, and then we also start talking about the upcoming week, and then Tuesday, Wednesday we're full force in the shop working on the, the coming week's race, doing seven post testing, uh, getting all of our setups and simulations run for the coming week. And, uh, Thursday we take off and travel, and uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday we're at the racetrack the whole time. Tell you what a typical race day is like for you. Race day is pretty hectic usually. We come in, we got about three hours to get the car really prepared and finished up for the race. And uh, go through, get that through inspection, go to the driver's meeting, and then uh, basically have a quick bite to eat, get a little team meeting together with all the guys. Then we take off and uh, go out there and get the race done. Being from Floyd County, um, have you been back home lately? I have not for a while. It's, it's probably been three months since I've been home. It's nice to be able to get home when I can, but my family's actually come down to see me a lot because they know my schedule and they try to come down when they get a chance. You know Alan Cottrell retired. Um, tell me a little bit what, what you know about Alan. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been back in high school, but he was a great basketball coach when I was up there. I know he's very well respected and uh, did a great job coaching up there. What are your future plans? I'm going to keep doing the same thing, keep working with Mr. Stewart as long as he'll let me and uh, just keep doing all we can do to win races and win championships. Tell me what Durian Grove has meant to this team. Uh, he's the backbone of it. I mean, we, we couldn't do any of it without him. He was uh, such a huge part of when we hired him uh, a year and a half ago, uh, of really getting the ball rolling and, and getting uh, the process started, getting the right people hired in the right positions. And, uh, you know, he, he had to do a lot of work that was above and beyond a crew chief's job to, to get everything going. So, um, you know, there's, there's absolutely no way that we would be where we are with this organization uh, without him.